my bones on his knees and hands on the ground. Imagine him as a table. If the table is framed, it's very hard for me to move him. That's why I want to have the hook is the distance between the hands and the knee or the elbow from the knee or the leg from, the table is all off. I want to make sure you guys understand. If I want to sweep somebody on that side and he bases his hand far out, very hard. I want to line up his shoulder with his hand. Now, he can, now he's going to fall. You understand? If his hand is far from the body, like a triangle shape, man, he's not going to do it. He's going to turn his hip and pass my guard. I want to make sure you understand that all his weight is going to go to his hand. Then he's going to have to fall. All I'm doing is just make sure I block the hand. But whenever you have this, use the legs. See over there? And I'm trying many times, base your arm over there, Jim. Good, now my hand, my foot goes in. Now I have control over him. The table is always off. That's the goal when you have somebody over here, is the table has to be off. Now see the gap over here? Off. Off. Many times I can push the leg. Off. Every time he's off, he has no defense. And the distance between his elbows from his hip is the key point for me to succeed in anything I try to do. That's why when you try to sweep a wrestler, it's a very hard time, unless you break the table. The table will be always the distance between the hands to his knees or the elbows to the hip. That's why I have it this way, and every time he bends, how can I put his weight on his hand? Not trying to sweep him there. I aim to the hand. Then he's gonna fall. All right, get your partner like this. How can I drive his weight over the hand? And I'm just blocking the hand. Let's try, one, two, three. 